Hi, I'm Rich. I've got this harebrained idea. Maybe I will grow some winter wheat in the pasture here behind me. I have a section I'm going to carve out and plant. It's turning autumn. It's the time of year we got to get it in the ground. I did a germination test on the wheat. Everything came out pretty good. This is just things I bought off of Amazon. Uh, I've got a variety I'll show you with you in a minute. I intend to section off into different varieties. Yesterday I sectioned off um, part of the pasture to keep the horses out of the area I'll be working in. Um, I don't know if it really makes much difference though because it's becoming uh, the end of September here and pretty soon we're going to be taking the horses off of pasture anyways. So I might end up just pulling that fence down without setting electric on it anyways but um, it's a thought process. Uh, this pasture hasn't been turned in years. Uh, I, I've never turned it in the nine years we've been here and I don't think it's been turned in the 12 years the previous owner had it. So might be a little difficult, a little rocky. Um, I borrowed my father-in-law's two bottom three-point hitch plow. I had to dig it out of the weeds um, and we'll see how that goes on the 706. The 706 needs a TA so I might be just doing it in a little bit a section at a time and letting everything cool off because it pulls all right initially and then as it warms up it loses traction so i'm not doing the whole pasture just doing a section of it here in the center where i get a lot of sunlight and it's away from the edges because i have a lot of ash trees that need to get cut around the edges and i want them to um, be out of the way so if i follow them into the pasture where i have lots of room that i won't be trampling over all the weed um, i tend to run a drag drag harrow after the plow just to break up the soil. And then I'm just gonna broadcast seed it with a little hand seeder. I had good germination rate in my potted plant here. The, the plants don't like being in a pot, I don't think. That's why they're all yellow. Of course, the cat's been eating on it too. This is a seed that I'm going to be planting. I have hard and soft white wheat, red wheat, kamut, rye, einkorn, and spelt. In the spring I'm going to overseed with some clover I think so that I have something for the horses to eat once I harvest the wheat. In the middle of it I had this other idea maybe I'll plant some garlic. I've never planted garlic before but apparently this is the time of year you gotta plant it. When it comes to harvesting I probably at this point will be using this. Um, it works pretty good for for cutting tall grasses and things like that so if I keep a sharp edge on it it should be all right it's not a huge area that I'm planting maybe about an eighth of an acre um, and I've got all winter to figure out how I'm going to process the, the berries because I don't have a combine I don't have a thrashing machine or or a cleaner or anything like that so uh, it may be a process that um, I'll regret in the summer but um, that's why it's a harebrained idea because it's kind of labor intensive to harvest. This, before I turn this land over though, uh, I have some broken down horse manure I'm gonna spread over it by hand just to give it some fertilization. And we'll see how that goes. This here is where our horse manure pile is. In case you're wondering, this is Katie, this is Silhouette, they're helping me today. All right. That's a load. I don't have sides on that thing, so they tends to roll off. Now I'll go spread it.
maybe a politician could do it better. Doesn't take the worms long to dissipate, but this is such a worm haven. It's like a worm breeding ground. They're all over in this stuff. Every single scoop I throw has hundreds of them. Just perfect. Well, I'm over here. I thought I'd show you this. This is pretty interesting. I've always known this thing is covering a well. I always thought they filled it in with rocks. The other day I was pulling trees and, and actually moved it over and I can see in here. It's pretty cool. All the stone lined well. I have to pull this thing off sometime and investigate and figure out what I want to do with it. This thing is interesting too. It's 1927 and an M I think and then uh, a G? MG. But anyways I don't know what that means but almost a hundred years old and must have been some sort of watering thing or, or feed thing for cows.
ran the drag harrow the other night and uh, let it dry out a couple days. I'll hit it once more here and then try doing some seeding and then go over it once lightly just to bat everything down. This is what I ended up with, about 225 feet deep by 50 wide. I have seven grains I want to plant plus some garlic. I have some cardboard set up here along the first bit here just to uh, stop the seed from entering where I want to plant the garlic. And then I'll go every 32, 33 feet and uh, use this spreader, walk it along and spread the seed. Uh, I will have a little bit of overlap of the seed. Um, I don't really mind having that. I'd rather have overlap than a, a gap where weeds can grow. Um, and uh, then I'll go over everything with the, the drag one more time, just really lightly, just so that it sets the seed down in the ground a little bit. Um, that'll also drag some in from contamination wise from one seed into the next bed. Um, I'm not really going to worry about it too much because this is all just a big experiment and I'm having fun. Um, and we can just use some of the, the mix, you know, it's, it's just not going to be a pure seed in the, in the uh, mix zone, if you will. I have no particular order that I really want to plant these in. I just need to remember which ones I plant where so I know what variety is where. I grabbed this one first. It's organic rye berries, so I'll start with that. If the horses don't come over here and eat it off. Come on. Come on. really have any scientific method to the seeding rate I'm just trying to cover the ground um, evenly and I don't mind if I use all of this seed or leave a little bit for some bread making. Alright, rye is first down. These horses really want to come over here and eat this. Get out of here. Chew. Right. Let's do Kamut next. Just because I grabbed it next. Get. Get. This horse says I gotta go put him away. Next one up. Soft white wheat, just because I grabbed that next. Next on the list, we'll do hard white wheat. We went from soft to hard, so that's always a good thing. Next up on the list, hard red winter wheat. 
Next on the list is einkorn. And last but not least, spelt berries. All right, finally, just go over it a little bit with the harrow, set them down in before this rain comes down too hard and then let the rain set it in the rest of the way. Come on. We'll try that.